Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu, c'est la vie. And for today's video, we are doing part two of our uh, infused uh, rose water DIY. So the part one that I will link right there is all about a rose water that we're using for our skin, mostly our face. And if you want to know all about it, please go and see this video. The part two, we're using the infused water um, that we we made during that DIY and in, instead of throwing the infused water away I wanted to try it on my hair and now I'm gonna give you all the properties of that infused water you know what no before I do that I'm gonna show you a little clip on how I get the infused water um, hoping that you will understand better how to make it yourself if you missed the f part one really it's just like making tea but we're using uh, very specific herbs and then I'll see you guys right after to talk to you about the properties and how I use it on my hair you are going to need some sage fresh or dry it doesn't matter you're also going to need some calendula and some rose petals the rose hip is optional Next, you are going to boil some water and let your herbs infuse in that water for a few minutes. Once it's infused, you're going to let it cool down. Then you're going to drain your herbs and put the residue in a container make sure that you squeeze that juice out finally you're going to label your jar with the ingredient and the date and voila your magic potion is ready All right, so the properties of this awesome, awesome infused water. We're gonna take each ingredient and uh, read its properties. I have my iPad right there. So we're gonna start with rose. Um, it nourishes, conditioning, and moisturizes the hair follicles, thereby promotes hair health, like hair shining, long hair, hair beauty, etc. It makes dandruff at bay. Voilà, so that's the property of rose and I want to put rose hip and rose under the same umbrella um, because they come from the same plant and unfortunately I have not found any properties for rose hip. Uh, all that comes out is rose hip oil and this is not an oil, it's an infusion. So I'm assuming that rose and rose hip are going to have the same properties um, on, my, on our hair. Now moving on to the sage. Sage is also said to be highly beneficial in alopecia and thinning hair. The natural oils in sage strengthen the roots and stimulate healthy hair growth. Due to the anti-inflammatory, astringent and antimicrobial properties of sage tea, it's useful in treating scalp conditions like dandruff, eczema and dermatitis, which is another reason why I really wanted to use sage in this product. Sage is an amazing plant. It has great, great properties, not just for your skin and your hair, but also for your body inside. Um, I highly recommend it for you guys. All right, moving on to the last one. It is calendula. Calendula, where are you? So calendula is rich in falconoids. Falconoids, plant-based antioxidants that protect the body against cell-damaging free radicals and the scalp from bacterial growth. Use this sunny flower to soothe sensitive scalps as it is also rich in antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. I love calendula. Anytime you need something to soothe your skin from an irritation, calendula is gonna do the job. All right, so now that we talk about the properties of this awesome infused water, I'm gonna tell you guys how I use it on my hair. I use it in two different ways. The first one is my favorite, is to refresh my curls on day two. So I will take my spray bottle, I will fill up quarter of that spray bottle with my infused water and then fill up the rest 
uh, with water and I will spray my hair on day two to wet it so I can get a nice curl pattern once my hair is kind of not soaked but you know wet enough I would put my leave-in conditioner style my hair either diffuse it or let it hair dry and to be honest guys I've had some of the best day two hair using that spray uh, it really gives that shine that extra body to my hair uh, a little bit more volume I really really love it and I highly recommend it if you want me to do a video where I'll show you the before after result, I will gladly do so. All right, so the second way I like to use this product is more as a treatment. So um, today, for example, I did a mask on my hair and I left it in. Uh, the mask I did is from uh, Shea Moisture. It's the 100% virgin coconut oil rehydration treatment mask. Never tried this one before. I thought I would give it a try. To be honest, it is a little too strong, a little too hydrating for me. Not a big fan of it, but I just got it, so I got to use it, right? <laughs> so after washing my hair today, I've been putting a mask on for about half an hour, and then I went ahead and rinsed it off. So once I was done um, rinsing off my mask out of my hair and my scalp, I took my infused water and I poured it over my hair. Uh, I let it be there for a little bit. I massage my scalp for a little bit. I try to brush my hair and all that. And then I rinse my hair off. So I make sure that I rinse my hair uh, properly, but I also left a little bit of the product in my hair. I towel dried and my hair and put it in a bun and then I went ahead and styled my hair. And this is the final result. So yeah, overall, uh, I think this product is awesome. I would not use the concentrated infusion uh, as a leave-in for sure. Uh, I would definitely use it more like a treatment serum, I want to say for your scalp, for your hair. If you're dealing with dandruff, eczema, uh, helpatia, things like that, I would definitely have this on my hair as a treatment, cover it with a shower cap, let it sit there for half an hour and then rinse it off and then put some conditioner on your hair. Um, you will see yourself when you use it, if you make it, and please let me know in the comments if you do, uh, that it is very tinted. So you want to make sure that you rinse it off and you want to make sure that you're in your bathtub and you're not like wearing clothes that you like while putting this on <laughs> because you're gonna ruin them um, but yeah that's that's pretty much all there is to it uh, overall I think it's a great DIY it's very easy to do um, it's all the properties in this in this product are hundred percent effective um, and, and I highly recommend it so like I said it's not a product that's gonna make your hair feel softer and hydrated but it is a product that is gonna make your hair feel fuller, your scalp feel healthy. As far as the overall feel of the hair, I think it's more of a, it will give more body to your hair, but it's not gonna hydrate your hair. So you will have to put something to compensate that. Make sure that you replenish your hair with some good hydration. Voila everybody, this is it. I think I said everything about this product. Please let me know in the comments below if you have tried it, if it worked for you, what plant did you use, if you use different herbs, what are the properties, how are you using this product, is it different than what I do? I want to know. Just share with me, please, please, please. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you have enjoyed more than one video. Um, and then voila, I will see you guys next week with a new video. Until then, you guys have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie. <laughs>